deserves the most blame for this injury? If Steve Kerr was telling the truth yesterday, and, and I have as much respect for Steve Kerr as anybody in the league, okay? I think he's a really good guy. If he was telling the truth and he said the Warriors doctors collaborated with KD's second opinion, independent mm -hmm. doctor, that's the first, maybe I missed it, but that's the first I heard of a second opinion. Is that you first guys? Time. Right. Yep. Okay. So if that's correct, that KD had an independent doctor not attached to the Warriors collaborating with them, and all the doctors said, you can play, all you can do is re-injure the calf, don't, you don't have to worry about the Achilles or anything, then I would say the doctors are clearly to blame because they misdiagnosed this from KD's doctor to the Warriors doctor. Because, look, the fact of the matter is KD, Bob Myers, Steve Kerr, whoever else you want to throw out there from the Warriors organization, none of them are doctors. Okay. So, so all did, you what can do... What did they do, misdiagnose? What? Well, that's what I'm, I'm going to get to that all in right. a minute. They, uh, according to Kerr, they said it's a calf injury and you can only, only thing you can do worse is re-injure re the calf. calf. Okay. Your Achilles is safe. He acts like they were shocked by the Achilles injury. He used injury. the word shock. Right. Okay. So there's that. If that's the case, I just believe it's a doctor. If I'm KD or Steve Kerr, I don't know medicine. If the doctors tell me I'm fine, I can go play, play through the pain, only the calf can get worse. I'm going to go play, and I'm going to feel good as a coach playing him because the doctor said it. Now, I don't, I don't like to call somebody a liar and say they're lying unless I know for a fact. So I'm not saying that about Steve Kerr. But there are people around the league that believe. Remember, the day after it happened, I was on the show, and I said I, I had somebody close to someone on the training you staff did. who said it you, was the Achilles. You said that. Okay. Now... There are people now say, saying, and, and a person has told me that they know, was, you know, they know this, that the Warriors all along and KD knew it was a, an Achilles. You know, slight micro tear. Yes. yes. Not a rupture, but that it was the Achilles and that the Warriors were protecting KD because he's headed into free agency. And they don't even want him, you know, it's like, hey, we're not, we're not going to send you in the free agency with an Achilles tear, all that. And that's why KD was go along with okay. it. Okay, let's call it a cap. And then when they get down 3-1, you know, and, and everybody's saying you can play, but that they knew it was an Achilles. Now, I don't know if that's the truth, but I'm just saying some people are saying that. And when you look at circumstantial evidence, every time you saw KD, ice is on the Achilles or it down was. near the Achilles rather than the calf. That is true. You know, and yep. as I heard you say earlier, he's jumping and dunking. That's not really with a bad calf. That, you know, so, and you can have slight micro tears in the Achilles, and, you know, Absolutely. it's not ruptured. Mm -mm. But you may know it's going to go, so maybe KD knew, look, there's a risk. Maybe it'll go. Uh, mm -hmm. But, so, I, if that's, the, now, if that last scenario is the case, and they all knew it was the Achilles, then I gotta, I gotta put a lot of that on KD's representation, his agent, Rich Kleiman. Mm -hmm. Because that's mm -hmm. your job mm -hmm. to protect him. You know, to protect yep. him against himself. Yep. And if yep. KD wants to go out there and play, look, KD could nope. have potentially risked becoming the all time leading scorer in NBA history. KD could have potentially risked, like, if he, he's gonna be healthy, we know, in a year. But maybe he won't come back as KD. Maybe he comes back as Carmelo Anthony. You know, slightly not quite as good. Okay. Not good enough anymore to lead a team to a championship by himself. Okay. So now you're taking away your options. So it's just, it was a risk, and those representing KD's best interest should have put their foot down if that second scenario was true and said, KD, no. we, can't, we can't let you do this. Okay. Skip, Skip Bayless. <clears throat> You and I came in the very next day after Kevin Durant. They said it was a calf. I said, I, Skip, I said, Skip, I don't know about you, but I've never seen anyone react to a calf strain like that. I said, he looked back as if somebody had tripped him or kicked him because he thought that's exactly what P.J. Tucker had done because that's who he shot the ball over against the Rockets. And he looked back and he grabbed his Achilles. He didn't grab his calf. I understand the grass drop and the solace are the muscles in the calf. I get all that, mm -hmm. but I've seen too many times. And I said maybe he didn't rupture, but he got a tear in there. I said that, 
why every time I watch him, the ice bag is at the back, is, is on his heel, Achilles area. His calf, there's no ice, there's no heat, there's nothing on the calf. Mm -hmm. But I thought he had a calf strain. Oh, Shannon, you don't know, you're not a doctor. You're right. And I don't, I hate playing one on television. But I've been a professional athlete for long enough. I've seen enough Achilles tears. I've seen enough of calf strains and certain injuries. And I know where the doctors put the ice. Skip, <clears throat> everybody failed this all around. Because the medical staff on both sides, of, and this is the first time I agree with you that when I heard Steve Kerr say this yesterday, Chris, that he had independent, he got a second opinion from someone outside of the, uh, the, the Warriors organization. Well, they failed this young man. And if Kevin Durant knew that at the very beginning this was micro tears in his Achilles, he should have never, ever, ever risked it. I get, Skip, that the, the, the athlete inside of us, and when someone says, and I've been there, lose a game, Skip, and my teammates come, Sharp, boy, if we had you, we had it. Man, they can't play with us if we'd have just had you. What do you think they're telling KD? Every time they come in the locker room, Skip Bayless, they lose a ball game and they see him. Man, if we had KD, they wouldn't even been close. This series had already been over with. They played at that side of KD. But I agree 100% with you, Skip, uh, uh, Chris Broussard. Rich Kleiman failed him. Your job as an agent is to what is the best, the best advice that I can give my client. Skip, this is $241 million in free agency. This is an opportunity for you to be a top five player. Guys, look, guys come back and they play very well. It's going to be very interesting to see in 2021 if Kevin Durant is the same player that he left in 2019. That's what we're going to have to see. But, Skip, they felt that at the end of the day, the rubber meets the road is Kevin Durant's final call. But Rich Kleiman's got to say, Kev, don't do it. It's not worth it. The, 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 the downside of this, which is rupturing your Achilles, is far greater than you winning a, 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 a third a, a championship in a row and being in a pan. The downside outweighed the risk was too great, was greater than the reward. Mm. <clears throat> so back to your initial point. You guys both know when you tear your calf or even strain your calf, it's a hot knife in your calf. And it's an ow. <laughs> it's, it's a like, right. ow. God, that that wasn't his reaction on skip. May the eighth. The Achilles reaction is always a, huh? <laughs> right. Huh? What, what, what was that? That was an Achilles reaction I saw on May the eighth. It was startled. Yep. It was befuddled. Like what? Right. What just happened me? to me? And you know, and I know, the first thing they did the next day was take an MRI. It's a 3D view of the lower leg. And so you can see all the issues going on in the lower leg from the calf, and you got the gastroc and the soleus, and they meld right into the Achilles. You can see if there's any issue going on with the Achilles. You cannot tell me that whoever examined the first MRI, the magnetic resonance imaging picture, didn't say, hmm, huh, I see a little... I, a little problem there with the Achilles. To your point, you can have micro tears. You can have what they call fraying. You can have a little partial tear, but you can just flat out see it on the MRI. It does not lie. Yes. And so nope. somebody knew that was happening. We all believe that was happening from May 8th. It could have been pre-existing issue that was even exacerbated by what just happened on May the 8th, but it did not rupture or we, we wouldn't even have this conversation. So... But your, your source said, we fear, right? right. We fear that's right. what it was. So even if he went to an outside opinion, they had to know that, I, I don't know what number to put on it, 10% chance of rupture, 20% chance, a risk of rupture. S somebody had to know the risk. Right. And, and I'm assuming Kevin knew. I'm assuming he knew that there's some potential this is going to rupture. Because Steve Kerr was not lying when he said, the calf was 100% healed. It was. You could just see it in the pregame warm-ups. He couldn't jump like that. But skip the calf, calf. Skip. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.